YouTube fam. How are you today? I got my uh, video day order in and I couldn't wait to get off of work to film this. <laughs> um, so let's like look what I got and get into it. So the first thing I got was the Be Perfect. This is the Polar Vortex highlighter. Um, I got it in Pink Icicle. Alright, so this says intense pigment with endless glow with a luxe powder formulation. The ultra fine texture melts into the skin for a radiant highlight finish. So, and this is supposed to be a baby pink sheen with a gold shifting reflex in it. And she's a little bulky. This is her. Sorry, my hand prints are on it. Like, I opened everything just to make sure it wasn't broken, but I want to show you all the packaging, so. Um, came with this little protector. This is what it looks like. And let's swatch it and see. She's definitely beaming, so I can't wait to put that on my face. Um, if you're interested in these, I just got an email today. Beauty Bay is actually doing a 20% off sale on all, like, I think they're British and Irish companies. It's The promo code's like Brit20. Um, Be Perfect's on there. The Beauty Bay stuff's on there. Nabla's on there. There's a bunch of them, so... I definitely will check that out. Um, next one I got was the Disney one, the Alice in Wonderland. I was a monster trying to open it up. But this is the palette. This is the inside of it. Let's see. My dogs are making noises in the back. What's up, y'all? <laughs> Alright, there we go. It's with the protective cover off of it. Um, I'm not going to do any swatches on it because I want to do the main event. Um, we'll do a video on it. That'll be the next one. Alright, let me... And then... Next one I got was the Beauty Bay Sunset Horizons palette. Came in with a bunch of bubble wrap. Okay. And this is her. And this is the inside of her. Very gorgeous. Alright. And then the main event. This is the 669 palette from Martine. This is the back of it. The front of the packaging. Packaging is really, it's got like a texture to it. It feels like leather, but it's not. Like, I don't know. It's cool. All right. Then, the actual packaging. Now, this is like a velvet, like, very pretty metal. And then the back of it. And it's got the little thing. This is her. It's even more gorgeous than I thought it was. Oh man, I'm like speechless. Um, I guess we will do this the way we normally do. We'll just go row by row. Let me get something to wipe my hands with. And we'll get started. All right, so first one is a matte green. This one's called Sabrina. It's a very dark army green. Next one is a shimmer called Zelda. It's a green. Should go a little bit down so you guys can see it a little bit better. All right. Next up is a brown matte. This one is called Serafina. Now, you guys, just touching this, this is such a soft 
matte formula. Oh my gosh. It's so awesome. Okay. Make it look a little bit better. Kind of dirty with that one. Um, next up is a more lighter olive green. And this one's, oh, this is a matte. This is called um, Rebecca. Hands. Um, next one is a a matte. This one's called Mercredi, and this just looks like a matte black. Um, next up is Freya. Now this is a shimmer. Looks like a duochrome with like a pink green shift to it. Super pretty. Hopefully you guys can see the shift on it. Alright, so that's the top row. Next up is, <clears throat> this is a black shimmer. This is called Ursula. All right, next up is a teal matte called Lavina. This color, y'all. This color. Oh, so gorgeous. Next up is, um, this one looks like a metallic. This is called Willow, and it's a dark gray. Very dark gray. All right, next up is another shimmer metallic this is um melinda and this is a dark brown you guys if y'all gonna stay in here you gotta be good <laughs> all right next up is a matte gray and this one's called tabitha and this is more of a Smoky gray. Okay. And the last one on this row is a matte maroon. This is called Tula. Next row, <laughs> y'all. <laughs> it we have cold front coming today. I think I say that every video because we basically do like once or twice a week a cold front comes through. But when they cold front comes, they lose their minds. Everybody else's dog likes that because mine's on. Mine is. All right. So next is a purple um, shimmer. This one's called Helena. very dark purple um next up is another gray shimmer this one is called cornelia then we have a brighter purple this one's called medusa and this is a shimmer. Actually, this looks like a duochrome. It is. It's a purple, greeny teal, like blue shipped. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Next up is a 
light gray matte. This one's called Hildegard. Hildegard. I'm hoping that's what that is. <laughs> and this almost has like a purple tinge to it. Uh, next up is uh, Euphenia. And this is, is this Dewey Chrome? Dewey Chrome. Yes, this shifts green, gold, orange. And then lastly, we have Annabelle. Which, like, it's another black. Oh, wow. <laughs> so this is it. Hope I can get that, get them shipped in. So gorgeous. This is like a goth girl's dream, y'all. <laughs> this is amazing. All right. So let me clean up my arm and kind of decide which route we want to go, and we're gonna go from there. All right. I'll see you guys soon. Okay. I think I have an idea on how I want to do this. <laughs> Alright, so what we're going to put down first, I don't know if I'm going to do both eyes the same or do different eyes, different looks for each eye, but we're going to do this eye first. So, the first one, oh, and let me tell you what I got on my face before we do all this. Okay, so my primer I used was the e.l.f. oil because it got cold and I got dry. Um, I used my Becca Skin Love and Porcelain concealer. I use the most concealer from Kim Chi. Setting powder, I use the Puff Puff Pass and Translucent. Um, for my bronzer, I use the Necromancy Contour from um, Mor um, Torsley Morbid. Um, my Anastasia Eye Primer. I use my Milani um, Rose Powder Blush. I use the um, two lightest shades. I mixed them together. And then I use my Ulta Deep Brown Gel. So that's everything that's on my face right now. I didn't do my highlighter yet because I wanted to do the um, the one I got. So I was going to do that on camera. So we're going to go in with this um, light, the lightest gray, like gray purple. I'm going to do that first. And I'm going to put that all up in here in the crease. I think I have an idea what I want to do with this. I keep looking at it and I keep changing it in my head. Oh, man. When you get a palette you absolutely love, like, there's not a shadow in there that you don't like. It is so hard. So hard. Um, okay, while I'm blending, blending this, um, I did place my first birthday month order today. Um, I ended up getting the three blend blendy blend bunny palettes i got their original the surge and the dollhouse and ended up getting their um their brushes too because they the brushes look small which makes me happy because i got the hooded eyes and i prefer a smaller brush over a large brush any day so like this is about as big as i get and this is what is this the hank and henry meg I prefer to work with smaller ones, so um, hopefully that ships soon, but I'm excited about that. I want to place another Beauty Bay order with that 20% going on, um, but I wanted to, because they have a couple more Martine palettes on the site, um, and I wanted to see how it felt like that. Um, polar vortex highlighter because there was another color I was interested in but I didn't want to buy more than one until I knew if I liked it or not all right put that down all right so next we're going to go in with Tabitha this darker gray
use a small brush. I need to clean my brushes what I need to do. For my birthday month, I want somebody to come and clean my brushes. So I don't know if, I know I told you guys when I made that Shop Miss A haul, um, like I was going to try out their brushes and give y'all feedback, and I don't know if I ever actually did, but they, this is one of them. And they're in my rotation, they're really good. Um, and I washed them a couple times, they don't smell like the Sheen one did, so I'm pretty happy about it. Alright, so for the main event on my actual lid. I think I want to do that duochrome Medusa. This one. And that's about as far as I've planned it. <laughs> if I can... Okay. I definitely would recommend wetting your brush of some house, some sort. Let me get my I ain't gonna be like like I usually I'll sprint it and I'll wipe it off a little bit just to get it damp. shifts for you guys. But it's definitely doing what I was trying to get that Natasha Denona one to do <laughs> yesterday. So now I'm just kind of packing it on there. And then, in my outer corner, I think I'm going to go in with that deep purple, um, what's it called, Elena. My goal is to kind of use as many of the shades that I can. Y'all, I've been waiting for this for so long. So long. Alright. Awesome. Now, what I want to do... I think... We're just going to keep this side pretty dark. And I'm just going to go in with the Medusa again. And just bring it in. I think that's what we're going to do. I'm just keep this side pretty dark. I mean, this is already just a dark palette in general. So, I mean. <laughs> okay. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down... 
think I'm going to put a little bit of that teal, that dark teal on the top a little bit. Like not a lot, just a little bit. The Lavina, which was that one. I think that might make that duochrome pop. Oh, and for everybody who's been making fun of my eyebrows, I know y'all ain't posted about it, but I'm sure y'all made a girl I didn't go do them. I'm going to go see my eyebrow guy tomorrow. I'm very excited about it. It's way overdue. Way overdue. All right, and then just to deepen up, the, I'm going to go on that black Annabelle, the last shade, and just kind of put it in the corner. <laughs> and then I think just to tie in that um, teal I put on top, I'll put it on the bottom as well. And then for my inner corner. I don't think I'm going to do anything from my inner corner, honestly. I think I'm just going to leave it dark. I think I'm just going to leave it dark. I just want to blend this out a little bit. It just seems a little harsh. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, and then, wouldn't be a Brandy Goth look without doing black eyeliner. This is my Perversion Urban Decay 24-7 um, Glad-On. And then top it with the May May Maybelline Master Precise. I remembered this time. <laughs> and then. Princess. What's up in the eye? <laughs> Oh, love it. Oh. oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. The next side. Okay. Hmm, what do I want to do? I kind of want to incorporate the other multi chrome in here. This one. And this was um, Euphenia. But I'm not, uh, not a hundred percent sure what we're gonna do. Um, I think what we'll probably, um, I kind of want to do a different eye shape than this. 
because I think I did this for the last video too. So let's try something different. Um, what are we going to go in first with? Um, I think we're going to go with this light, the lighter green, the, was it Rebecca? in the crease. What about maybe doing some kind of halo-ish eye? I think that's what we might do. Um, everything's blending super well too. Every, like, like I had said when I was swatching the mats, they were super buttery. Like, it was like touching velvet. Like, legit. <laughs> like touching velvet. So, I was highly impressed with that. So I got that green in. Now I'm going to do that darker green. The first one, Sabrina. Let me get a look. I need a baby brush for this. All right. And we're going to put that in the corner. In this corner as well. Let's start darkening. looking like so far okay and get a little bit of that glue another flat brush flat herb brush and then Let's see what she looks like without anything. Definitely think we need to put a little bit of that on here. Just gonna kind of edge it over. And then I think I'm gonna take that brown. Let's see. I'm gonna get dark brown, the Seraphina. And darken this up. I love this brown. I love it. Yeah. Ooh. 
Ooh. All right, I need to just blend and my crease a little bit because it's a little separated. So I definitely wanna, it's for me going in with that brush, let's see. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Now, I really like that Rebecca the light green color, so I think we're gonna put that in my lower lash line. I don't know how this pink highlighter is gonna look with all this uh, grungy goth <laughs> goodness I got going on, but whatever. We gonna try it. <laughs> okay. And then the same thing with the same eyeliners on this side. Probably should have went brown, huh? Oh well. Fix my headband because it's like slowly riding up my head. And then, mascara. Okay. This is more than I could ask for. <laughs> like, I'm like, I'm like, shook it. All right. So let's go in with this highlighter. See what kind of damage I can do on my face. All right. It's definitely, like, I really like it because, like, it's beaming without being glittery. All right, give me one second. I forgot to get my lip. <laughs> Okay, so I decided just to go simple. I got broken a sheer shimmer from um, Urban Decay. But let me see if I can zoom you guys in a little bit. I'm really excited about this. Like, this is like if I would have let me zoom out I'll turn it all up in my face. Ah! Okay, anyway. <laughs> let me turn this down a little bit too. I'll zoom y'all back in. But this is definitely like if I would build a palette, it would be similar to this. <laughs> No, so, I love it. Is it worth the money? Yeah, I think it's fifty three, but I did get like twenty something, twenty or thirty percent off on it. So that was pretty cool. That's one thing cool about being on uh, on Beauty Bay. They always have those twenty thirty percent off, sometimes forty. So definitely look if you're not like don't want to jump on it now. Like sign up for their emails. <laughs> and as soon as you see that thirty forty off, boom. So I love it. I love it. This is probably, I know it's like only like the beginning of February, but I can tell y'all now this is going to be 
on my favorites for 2022. I already know it. Oh, love it. All right. Well, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, we'll play with the other palettes soon. All right. I'll talk to you later. Bye.